Okay, so now that we've got our robot connected to our light sensor and we've got our program, you'll now see in the top up here we're connected and instead of two icons, we now have three. We can see our motors and now our light percentage. Now you'll see that my robot is on this side, or the light is reflecting off the white. And you can see the number there that, watch what happens when I pass it over the black section. You see the number drops dramatically. So and the reason for this is because of light being reflected. When light hits a black color or a dark color, a lot of that color is absorbed and very little is actually reflected. But white light, when it hits a white substance, reflects a lot of that light back, back out to us. And that's how we can see it. We perceive it as being a white or a light color. This is important because what we're wanting our robot to do is we want it to try to drive along this black line as straight as possible. So this is what's going to happen. So we're going to get our robot, when it detects the black line, it's going to drive forward. But when it's on this side of the line, which is on the left, and you, you're seeing it from the right. So when it's on the left-hand side of that white line, of that dark line, we're wanting it to turn half a rotation until it hits the black line and then goes forward again until such time that it may have crossed back over the line. We can see this in a flow diagram. And if we have a look at this flow diagram, this is what our program is going to do. We're going to take a light reading and see if it's higher than 20%. If it's higher than 20%, then that would mean that we have a look at the video, the picture again, if it's over 20%, it would be on the white section. So if it's on the white section, we're wanting it to turn half a rotation to see if, we say half a rotation, and then take another light reading Right. If it's higher than 20%, again, it would, yes, so you do half a rotation to turn. If it's not, it means it's on the black line and we want it to move in half a rotation and moving forward. And we're going to have this constantly loop around to try to ensure that our robot is going forward. So, for the next five minutes, I want you to... Have a look at this flow diagram and see how you would go about programming. I'll see you in the next video.